Alright my people, it's your boy Waskid in the building And I'm here to remind you guys that today is the day yo Haha, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, you guys make sure you log on to Waskid Lab to watch me and my friends battling words all right you heard all right so uh, anyways guys uh i gotta go you know because i need to do a little bit of prep and stuff so you guys catch you guys later all right Ready to rumble with a boss. Eh? BLT boss. Ah, me, I'm not really competing. With. If you hear my rap lines, eh? <laughs> <laughs> eh, hey, DJ DZ. I'm rooting for you, don't worry. <laughs> well, I'm competing and I'm not taking any prisoners. Wasi, get ready. <laughs> See you, sister in the house. Eh, hey, the rapper with the zappa. <laughs> Rapper with the zapper. What is it now, Ami? <laughs> well, we'll see who has the last laugh. See your dirty man like last laugh. Uh-uh. What's you? Can't you joke without being rude? I beg, I beg. You to the tight chest, Jerry. I'm busy because the business has not given you the bonus, eh? The moral. What? What's you now? What's in the world you now? Ebisinde. How could you? Guys, let's let's just go back to uh, talking about the rapper too, eh? Guys, just shut up, I beg. Cynthia, I'll call you later. Guy, why? Baby Cynthia, I'm sorry. I <laughs> Kellings, Musakala na manji. Zamo, I don't know what I'm going to do. What if I'm really pregnant? Can I even get a test to find out? I feel like you should be able to. I'll ask around. Gosh, I knew that having sex without a condom is a bad idea, but Kabilo wouldn't listen to me, so I was scared to say no. I'm sorry, D. But you know what? Me and you, we'll figure this out together. Ah. Uh, so, did you manage to get through to Leo? No. At first his phone used to ring, but now it's just... off. Um, so... Bottom line is that I I messed up big time, guys, and the rap battle has been cancelled. Um, uh, <laughs> hmm. Actually, maybe I can act, do something, you know. Maybe a little freestyle. Boy, where kid? And I've been a bad kid. My heart is very heavy, and my friend is really hurting. But if you or want me to destroy a very real thing, I'm really sorry, AB. I'm so sorry, Cynthia, and for wasting your time. My apologies, Adiza. And even you see me, I hope that you can see me. Can you hear the apology that I should have since given? I'm not a bad boy, but I make bad decisions. Peace, guys. Oh, no. 
Eh, hey, why you text out ten? Now why you no answer call since? I they call you since now. What thing they do? Nothing. I just they. I just they clean this place. <laughs> hey, hey, what they hide? Huh? I don't say make I hold on with that now. See how you people are doing. We never touch base this week now. Abi, Abi, eh, how we BJ now? How how things with exigent? Not bad. I mean, I prefer working with Kavil. But I've written a few songs, and if I think they might do really well. Yeah, yeah. You, you know you and Kali, you, you know, get this special chemistry, this special rhythm like that. And you know if you expect say you get that kind of rhythm with every other person. I guess. And then it's just weird having to stay this long with people that I thought I'd only be staying with for one week. Just keep feeling like I have to tip two around. Yeah, yeah, this this lockdown uh na na strong thing. Yes they do. You don't talk to your sister. Are we expecting someone else's fault? Actually me me and Cynthia we we did we did we get one kind of situation like that. Tell her your story. Ah. You don't even want to know what's happening. You just just take a side over your, your own brother. Okay, am I wrong? Is she at fault? Abby. Tell Cynthia your story and actually mean it. Cynthia is a good girl. I know. See, another matter even day like this. See, Popsy never show how since day before yesterday. Oh, not again. Imagine this this kind of period of all of all times. Like I don't even know if I'm angry at the fact that he's just going out anyhow and risking himself and bringing the virus home, or the fact that he's just disappearing and making somebody worry. Me, yeah, I even think say maybe my ma go hospital, police station, ma go check if he no show if he no show out tonight. Huh? No, no. So that you two can go and get the virus. No. What will not happen to Tare? Fine. Fine. I'll call that police officer that helped us that time, and if I hear anything, I'll let you know. Okay, no. I'll talk to you later. Mm? And, Evie, mm? call Cynthia. Bye. Hey. Um, babes, um, Cynthia. Uh, I am so, so, so sorry about what was was you said to you. I, I know I shouldn't have discussed our personal business with him, but in my defense, I didn't exactly say it to him directly. He noticed something was bothering me, and he, he figured it out by the beat that, that slipped out of my mouth by accident. Accident, yes. Please tell me you believe me. What? Uh, I don't. I don't understand. Oh, charades! It's, it's like charades. Okay. Okay. Six, six words. One. First, first, first word, first word, first word. I, I, okay, I, I. Longer. Longer. I will, ha I, I, I will, I, I have. I'm not talking to you. Oh, te technically, that's like five words. Okay, maybe maybe I should just no, maybe I should just let you be. Yeah. What now? Why will you why will you pick my call if you're not going to talk to me? So because I'm mad at you, I should suffer not getting to see you. <laughs> Who else have you thought about this? Just some 
so una cabello. I don't see the point just yet. I mean, what if I'm not pregnant? I might be late. Stay, you are telling me. You're telling Zamo. Why haven't you told him? But if he wants to keep it, he... He tends to get what he wants. What about you? What do you want? You don't want to keep it? Because you're scared of him? Stop jumping to conclusions, Daniel. I didn't say that. I just think it, it's too soon. It's too early in the relationship. All right. I'll start pushing my opinion. So, what are you going to do? Dude, what the hell? Where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for like ages. Calm down. I'm not my language. She's... I can't even say it. She's gone. What? She passed away. This virus was real. Leo, like for real. Bungie. I was in such a bad space. I feel so horrible for her. Anomalanga was the best person. I know. She had so much living to do, and this virus just, just took her away so quickly. This virus doesn't play. No, it doesn't. Anyway, um, what's with you? What have you been up to? Been busy with your PR or right not? I was at the hospital. What? Yeah, I, I, I just kept getting worse and just couldn't keep ignoring it. So I... Leo! I was there for a few days. They kept me under observation. Ran a few tests. Um, so it's, it's definitely COVID-19. It's definitely COVID. My oxygen levels were low. So they gave me some. Now I'm home. They gave me some paracetamol to keep the fever down. Of course, there were some guidelines, you know, stay hydrated, eat healthy, rest, isolate the usual. So sorry. I'm so sorry. And I'm here being so insensitive. Shouldn't have told you about Anmamalanga as well. No, 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 no. It's fine. You know that if you need me, you can call me anytime. Of course, I know. Look, Zamo, I'm gonna be okay. All right? I gotta go take care of yourself and that cute little guy, okay? Okay. Keep well, Leo. This one in her peach dress is great, Q. But she hated it. Said her smile was too much. But I love it, man. I think it's the one I should put on the eulogy. But no, let me use something she loved. Well, I'm sure she'd want you to use the picture that comforts you most. Yeah, Q. I mean, she was always thinking about everyone else but herself. And that's just how she went. Helping everyone else. <sighs> Yo, Bungs. I'm sorry, man. I wish I could come over and talk about her in person. I really appreciate it, Q. I know you and I haven't seen eye to eye, but hearing from you really means a lot. 
Thank you. I remember when humans could actually comfort each other in person. And remember when humans could actually bury their loved ones proper. Gosh. Yeah. This thing is just so complicated, Q. Hey. I mean, it's so much. Anu Malanga would have wanted to be buried in her homeland, but she can't now. And my helpless dad, oh, he's a mess. He can't even come into the country to bury his own sister. The KZN relatives are also freaking out because they can, they're not sure whether they can come or not. They need to get traveling permits. Ah, it's just so much. We can't have more than 50 people. And locals might be too scared to come. That's hectic. She was a hero to everyone. And now no one can show up for her. <sighs> Q, I'm like the only relative here in Gauteng, which means the whole funeral's on me. Hey, you can do this. Can I, though? And it's too much, Q. She deserves a way better send off than this. I think I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I'm going to get through this. Q, I spent hours at the police station filling in this form, applying for that permit. Yo, that sounds like another level of adulting. I mean, you shouldn't have to deal with all of that on top of the pain of losing her. It, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, but it's necessary, friend. I mean, we should be grateful to the system. I mean, you know, they're trying to protect everyone. Uh, yeah, it's all good that we all gather and grieve. But what good does that do if everyone comes back from the funeral infected? Dude, I know all of that, okay? I mean, I know why it has to be this way. It doesn't mean it makes it easy, how? Yeah. Sorry, I was just trying to give you some comfort. Well, your helpless thing isn't comforting at all, Q. I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't know what the right thing to say is. <sighs> Q, I'm sorry I snapped at you. I just feel like she deserves more, you know? She appreciates everything you're doing right now. She knows your heart. She loved you. You're doing great, okay? <sighs> yeah, this digital comfort does do something with my friend Q. Go figure. I just wish there was more that I could do for you. Q, you checking in on me is enough. Hey, I got your package. <laughs> yeah. So does this mean the silence treatment is over? What it means is that you get to keep safe when you go shopping. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Check the note. Oh. This mask is the property of the idiot. Have you seen it? I don't know why you are laughing. It's not a compliment. Mmm, it's not. You know what those memes on the internet says that whenever a Nigerian girl wants to flirt with you, they call you idiot or bigot. Well, I'm not one of them. Uh, you're not, Harry. You're not one of those girls, huh? Yeah, wait. Let's wait. Though. Let's see what other people think. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Come on, laugh now. Ah, ah. It's funny, Joel. And besides, I look good in pink. Look at it. <laughs> See your big head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, please tell me I've been forgiven now. It's okay. Now I know what I can and can't trust you with. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, if it's general gist, I can tell you. But if maybe say we were sexting? Were you, were you really thinking about sexting? I don't know. Maybe. I just thought since we can't be together yet, it could be something we'll try for now. Isn't that what you guys like? You, you know, for, forget about what guys want. Is it what you really want? I don't know. I'm not sure. Then, 
don't do it. Hey, no need for all those wala now, you grab. Don't. I get that. Uh, and besides, again, uh, I want our first time to actually be about us. You know, real stuff. We, we, we really don't have to be like other people. I agree. I mean, I know that you want to talk to your boys sometimes, but choose well, okay? Some things should stay between us. Aye, aye, Captain. It will never happen again. None of this would have happened if you had just blanked to assume. Being the good guy all the time will get you in trouble, AB. You've already been to jail once because of that guy. What more do you want? Come on, he's not that bad now. He is worse. He tried to force himself on girls during our graduation. And let's not forget, he tricked Simi into having sex with him by lying that he'll use a condom. Next thing, she has HIV. See, Wasi didn't even know he had HIV when he had sex with Simi. And you think that's any comfort to Simi? No. No, that, that was irresponsible and, and selfish of him. And, and you're right, Wasi has done some shady things. But again, I've known this guy since, I mean, for a long time now, and I know he's capable of more than all this. Not to talk of how things have been very rough for him since he discovered that he's HIV positive. I mean, his uncle threw him out. That's no excuse. You've had it rough too. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe, maybe if I keep him close, you know, I can help him with all of that. Have you talked to Zamo again since you told her you might be pregnant? No. She was just going to judge me. I mean, she hates Gabelo already. So I can do without negativity right now. I'm more comfortable talking to someone who's more objective. Okay, you mean me? You know, I'll be frank. I think you need to face the truth of how you feel about this. That might help you take some action either way. Mm, I don't know. Okay, Dineo, deep breath. Um, can I suggest you something, a uh, meditation thing? Okay. Okay, stay with me. Close your eyes. Okay. Imagine what your life will be if you have this baby. Imagine what life will be with Cabello as your partner forever. Now imagine what kind of daddy you will be. Does he make you smile or does he make you sad? Does it scare you? Now, open your eyes. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, sorry, you know, I didn't mean to upset you. No, don't be sorry. It's exactly what I needed. I need to find out for sure. I'm going to do the test. Hey, uh, Chope, I, I wasn't expecting to hear from you this soon. Hi. You remember me, right? Yes, Leo, from the club. You said as much in your message. We danced all night, talked for a few weeks, and then you hooked up with that Sophie girl. Yeah, right. I just, you know, I, I thought you, I thought you didn't remember. Boys. <laughs> because I'm not giggling with glee that you sent me a message. <laughs> Listen, I'm on a short break after a long ass hospital shift, okay? So excuse me if I don't have the energy to be charming to some guy that I met years ago that I barely know. Look, look I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize. I'll let you go. No. No, it's fine. I don't mean to be rude. 
but if you want to catch up and reminisce on old times, then hit me up again in a few weeks when things are a bit calmer. Your message, however, said that you wanted to talk about COVID-19. Yeah, I do. Why, what's your interest in this anyways? Last I saw on social media, you were in music or something. Mm. More like, more like a patient or something. You weren't infected? Yeah, uh, I, I just got back from the hospital a few days ago. How are you feeling? Yo, it was scary for a while, but I'm finally feeling better. The treatment, the hospital helped. But... But what? I feel kind of weird. You know, I, I, I can't talk to people that I know about this, so I don't know. I thought maybe you... Oh, Leo, this crisis is affecting the whole world. There is nothing for you to be ashamed about. I guess, but... But what? Come on, you can ask me anything. I just want to make sure that what I'm feeling is normal. That I shouldn't be worried because some people start feeling better and, and then they end up getting worse. So, you know, that's the thing about this coronavirus. There's still so much that we're trying to understand about the symptoms and the treatment. It's really tough seeing people struggle with this thing up close. Worse than anything else you've seen on the job? Not exactly. So, some people had an easy time of it, but for some, it's super rough. And then you factor in things like the rate of spread, how contagious it is. It makes it all so difficult. There isn't even enough protective gear for us doctors. So whenever we go to work, we're putting our lives at risk every day. Do you ever just feel like walking away? I'm human. I wish it was easier. I wish I didn't have to put my life at risk like this. But I took an oath just like the doctors that helped you. And I try to remind myself of that at the most challenging times. Like, like what? Like when people bring a loved one to the door and then days or weeks later, they come back to pick up a body from that same door. And when I have to hold the hand of someone who's dying, because their families can't be there for them. Sometimes I make a WhatsApp call so people can say goodbyes. Sometimes I have to call to say that there will be no more goodbyes. That sounds super intense. <clears throat> Anyways, is, is, that, um, is that what you wanted to know? Is that the information you needed from me? You know what? Um... This isn't urgent. You have to get back to work like you said. My thing can wait. If you're sure, but you can message me whenever. I may not reply immediately, but I will get back to you. Thanks. Later, Leo. Bye. I'm sorry I haven't been there much since Yippie and I broke up. I wish our things happen. I'm, I'm really glad you called, though. Me too. Was that the beginning of a mustache I see? <laughs> Yo, you've come a long way from the kid that used to wear his bed. Nah, I don't do that anymore. Uh, just relax. I'm just playing, fam. So, how are you holding up? Losing Aunt Norms must be hard. Yeah, it reminds me of Mama all over again. Yeah, I get it. I remember how hard that time was. I just can't believe she's gone. <sighs> me neither. Maybe you could help with something to make us all feel better. Oh, and that is? I'm trying to get a hold of as many people as possible that Aunt Numalanga helped over the years. I want to put together a video tribute for Bongi. I already spoke to Zamo, so she's into it. I also want to reach out to people from my work. 
Oh, okay, I think that would be great. So you'll do it? Oh me? Yeah, of course. You just talk about your best memories. I, I don't think that's a great idea. Then no, what's wrong? She just some girl. She told me not to go outside, and I still disobeyed her. And I feel as if I made her worse. And maybe she'd still be alive if I just listened to her. Stop. Okay, what? From what I heard from Bongi, nothing you did made a difference. She was sick before you went to stay with her. The reason she didn't want you breaking lockdown was to protect yourself and to cut the chances of you passing the virus on to others. Yeah, I know, but I, I just feel guilty. I feel like that about a whole bunch of stuff. The last feeling guilty is more about what we wish we had the power to do. We've already lost on Tien. So what we can do is help remind the family that she lived a worthwhile life. Okay, Shep. So what you're getting? You just record yourself talking about her. You know, share memories that they would love to hear. Mm, okay, Shep, uh, I can do that. Great, thanks. So you'll send it to me when it's ready, yeah? Okay. All right. Talk soon, little man. <laughs> well, the first time I met Alamalanga was a Sunday afternoon after church. If you have any questions about COVID-19, text the word COVID to plus four one seven nine eight nine three one eight nine two on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.